But I, I think it's I think it's worthwhile because in the park there are people who say things which are more close to the edge, and I don't think you make any excuses about that. You you're one of those people who is prepared to say things that perhaps other people might not say. So I think that's a it's a worthwhile perspective to take. When you when you engage with someone, and maybe when you say some of the more provocative things, what, it's what what's your mostly, what's your intention? It's in response. When I say provocative things, it's mostly in response to them saying provocative things. Okay. Which is one of the most provocative things that the Muslims put a sign up there and say Jesus was a Muslim. It's very provocative because uh, to a Christian that would be like saying Muhammad was a Christian. Right. You know? Uh, and the Muslims would be like, oh, he, or I said Muhammad believed in the Trinity. That's why he used the word Ahad, because it means one of. You see what I'm saying? Like, that could be, uh, you know, what, what do you think of if the, Muslim, if the Christians would put up a sign saying Muhammad was a Christian? He was a Trinitarian Christian. Do, do you agree? Would that be okay with you? Abdullah, do you, sorry, sorry, do you, do, you, yeah, yeah. do you agree? Okay, so we know already that one of the most provocative things a Muslim can hear is an insult against their prophet. Would you, would you agree with that? No, not really. I think one of the most provocative things for Muslims really would be an insult to any one of the prophets. Right. Because there was a time where there was a movie being made about Jesus. Right. And the depiction of Jesus was taken very serious by the Muslim community. Right. And there were global marches and demonstrations. So any of the prophets is being depicted in any kind of way that is belittling or insulting or rude or whatever, Muslims will take issues to that. All right. Now, for I'll example, I'll ask one question. if, Sorry, some, let me, let me just if someone takes a Bible yeah. and do something in the, with the Bible in speaker's point that is, in my view, wrong or disrespectful, 100% I'll challenge it. And how, how would a, uh, an insult against God himself be taken uh, versus an insult against a prophet? It's a, it's, it's a more egregious act. I think both both um, both has huge amount of um, weight of, of offense. Um, but I even think the global powers in some law, many countries of law, you should not intend, there should be no intent to willfully provoke violence by going out of your way to be vile against somebody's religion. Really. But why don't you say Abraham was a, uh, you know, why don't you put a sign over there saying Moses was a Muslim? Why do you target Jesus as a Muslim? The sign up there doesn't say Muhammad, well, Moses was a Muslim. It specifically says Jesus was a Muslim. Why is that? Was Muhammad, no, but Moses not a Muslim? I think more important than that is, Sorry, 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 I don't mean to, to cut off. I, I, I just want to like try to give you like a, a question that I think you, you will answer. To insult a Muslim by insulting God, or to provoke a Muslim by insulting God, would, I imagine, would be taken in the same way by a Christian if one was to say, Jesus is not God. Because they take Jesus as God. That, that's not the case. That's a flawed view. So, why is that a flawed view? I'll tell you why it's a flawed view. First of all, a Christian who says that he takes offense by a Muslim who says Jesus is not God, he is just trying to react in a way how we react. I'll tell you why. Because... We're going to ask a Christian in a minute. Because he's not a Christian. But anyway, because, I'll tell you why, number one. Do you think that's not provocative to say in my face, I'm not a Christian? I can explain myself. But anyway, I'll tell you why. Number one, in Christianity, the, there are Unitarian Christians. And in Christianity, there are Trinitarian Christians. The Trinitarian Christians the, and the Unitarian Christians, the Trinitarians do not believe Jesus is God. The Unitarians do not believe Jesus is God. And the Trinitarian Christians will take no offense against those who say Jesus is not God. Do we do now, you think history, that we consider them Christians? Can I, can I finish, please? Can I finish, please? So those Trinitarian Christians who say Jesus is not God, they do, they do not say Jesus is not God with the intent to be vile, with the intent to be rude. 
So the false notion as though all Christians through all period of time all believe Jesus is God, it's a flawed view. What I mean is, you understand would that, what I'm trying to say? Would it, okay, I have to be more specific then. Would a Muslim saying to a Trinitarian Christian that Jesus is not God be tantamount to a Christian saying Allah is not God? Is it not, is it not the same? It's not is there the a same. parallel? It's not the same. Okay, let's, let's no, get. And I'll tell you. Well, let's, right, no, let's, no, get, no, let's get no, Sam's uh, view. So, um, there's a couple of things because uh, the point that he brought up that all, not all Christians are Trinitarians. If you ask a Christian that question, they would say anybody who's not a Trinitarian is not a Christian. Right. That's the correct answer. So, for him to take his. A uh, definition of Christian, which he includes the Unitarian in it. Now there are many degrees of Unitarian. Some of them are oneness. Some of them have the different view of the, you know, the Trinity and this and that. So those are all the things that I discussed. I had many discussions with Unitarians. Do you think that any Christian, if you want to define Christian, is a Trinitarian? As a Christian, I'm talking about Trinitar Trinity. That is. The Bible, that's what Trinitarians and uh, that's what Christianity is. Now, that is what the 99% of the Christians out in this world, the Roman Catholic Church believes in Trinity. All of them, they, which does not, which is which is the major Christian denomination that has Unitarian view? Okay, yes, there is one that's uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Do the Christians call Jehovah's Witnesses Christians? It's like Ahmadiyyas, it's like the Muslims calling Ahmadiyyas non Muslims. We call Jehovah's Witnesses non-Christians. So, so you, you answer the question. You see how Muslims are offended by um, insults against their their prophets or against... Oh, this is what you were looking for before. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, so, do you want to read it? No, you can. So, one so this what, is about is this is about response response to insult found in the bible in 1 peter chapter 3 verse 9 uh, do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult on the contrary repay evil with blessing because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing i'm only saying that to say to you that my friend across there who was here this is what he should be teaching and because he have not taught that and the others have not told that you and I don't. This is almost new, almost new to you. Uh, well, well, when you said um, there was a, there was an allusion to it in the conversation, like he, he said. That's the point I was making. But what yeah, I'm trying to say yeah. to him is that whenever there's an opportunity of incitement and hatred, instead of raising the flag, freedom of speech. That should be the response. Right, and I'm saying because this is so unpopular. Even you, who is not, not convenient for those who want an adversarial right. uh, confrontation in the park. But now I want to hadith. Okay. All right, but uh, so that I know the, right. the Islamic yes. approach right. as well. Right. So, so I can address this point. So you're saying that the, uh, the Christianity teaches that you should be tolerant, yeah, and do not repay them with what they are doing to you. So don't do what they are doing to you, right? But there is other. So that is one verse, and it has its own. Uh, you know uh, implications that's that is the true we are not supposed to be doing insults to other but does it not say also that we take this message and like um like bring light to where there's darkness so if you're bringing something out to the world and you're misrepresenting something like saying like like when i come is and people take an offense when i say that the Quran insults the Bible. It's not the Muslims insult the Bible. Uh, the Quran insults Christianity by saying that the Quran says that Jesus is a liar because Jesus is saying I'm God. Jesus is saying that I rose from the dead. I was dead and now I'm alive. And if the Quran is saying that it's not the Muslims that I'm attacking, it's the Quran, it's their belief that I'm attacking because it's coming against my belief is against Christianity and I'm not insulting it. Why? Insulting it would be to say something bad about it. But if I'm just exposing it, insult and expose, it, it has to be a, dis, a, 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 a you know, distinction made between those. But if I'm exposing something that they're hiding from people, when they're not telling you that. But when Quran does that, it actually contradicts itself. I've made so many points about the Quran where Allah is saying that 
I will put the wafika, meaning that I'll put you to sleep and raise you to me. But in the English translations, it's missing that. It's saying, I'll raise you to me. So if I say that, Muslims get offended. Or, or, or if I say, you know, your Quran is saying this and this and that, I'm exposing it. And then the Bible does say, expose the, the lies. It, there are verses that talk about exposing. But so, let, me, let me get back to the facts, because this is, is not about theology. No, this is I'm not, not about talking theology. about, I'm just saying... Okay, can I, excuse me, excuse me. This is not about theology. And if you notice, I'm addressing you to avoid any more direct confrontation. I think you're both addressing me. So. Right, both. That's, that's, <laughs> that's fine. fine. But that's fine. what I'm trying to say, this isn't about a theology debate or you come prepared to have a dig at the Quran. It's not the platform for it. But what I'm trying to say fundamentally towards this conversation, there is scenarios where there is a clear insult intended and there is scenarios where in insult is taken or flagged or falsely claimed. You falsely claim an insult in order to make a point. So the question is, I do not, I find out for a fact that Islam has no intention of insulting anyone. But Islam holds some very strong views with regards to what is idolatry and the authority of God. So if Islam talks about the authority of God and it speaks against idolatry, then someone will come and say, well, it's a false flag. We're, we're moving towards theology. All right, well, let's, all right. Let's, <laughs> anyway, Cyrus, I think I had enough. Yeah, all right. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you again. Yes.